there! Ruby here. I have been as busy as a bee in this camper, making lemon sourdough bread. <laughs> I'm making it for my neighbor. She stumbled over a rock and broke her big toe. Oh, that must have hurt. Anyway, I thought I could help out a little and brighten her day with some bread. Have you ever helped out a family member, friend, or neighbor? I bet you are a wonderful helper. Would you like to see the ingredients for my bread? Eggs and butter, milk and flour, and a lemon to make it sour. Oh, this reminds me of a story my mother told me a long time ago. I have an idea. Let me put my bread in the oven, take this apron off, and I will meet you outside in a jiffy for the story of The Little Red Hen. Once upon a time, there was a little red hen. And this little red hen lived in a little red barn. And the little red hen who lived in the little red barn loved driving around the farm in her little red car. <laughs> oh boy, I have never seen a hen drive a car, have you? The little red hen had three best friends, a duck, a pig, and a cat. And let me tell you what, these friends were lazy. They never wanted to help with anything. All they wanted to do was eat, sleep, and play tiddlywinks. Have you ever played tiddlywinks? Oh, it's fun. What you do is get a few plastic winks and try to get it to fly into a plastic cup. It's such a hoot. Oh, I'm sorry. My mind is wandering again. Let's get back to the story. One day, the little red hen found some seeds to plant, and she asked her friends, Who's going to help me plant the seeds? Not I, said the duck. Quack, quack. Not I, said the pig. <coughs> Not I, said the cat. Meow. Hm. Then I will plant them myself, said the little red hen. And that's exactly what she did. The seeds grew into tall golden wheat, and it was ready to be cut down. The little red hen asked her three friends, Who's going to help me cut down this wheat? Not I, said the duck. Quack, quack, quack. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the cat. Meow. I guess I will cut it down all by myself then, said the little red hen. And she did. The little red hen was a very hard worker, but she wasn't done yet. Friends, it's time to take this wheat to the miller. You know, a person who will turn this wheat into flour. Not I, said the duck. Quack, quack. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the cat. Meow. Then I will take it myself, screamed the little red hen. So she hopped into her little red car, and off she went to the miller to get that wheat turned into flour. The little red hen returned home to the little red barn and found her three friends all asleep, snoring away, counting sheep. Quack, quack. Who's gonna help me make the dough? Now that we have all of the ingredients. Eggs and butter, milk.
milk and flour and a lemon to make it sour. Eggs and butter, milk and flour and a lemon to make it sour. My lazy friends won't help me with anything. I guess I will make the dough all by myself. And she did. The dough was finally ready to be baked. Who's going to help me bake the bread? Asked the little red hen. Not I, said the duck. Quack, quack. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the cat. Meow. Then I will bake it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. The barn smelled so good. The bread was golden brown and ready to be eaten. The little red hen carefully took the bread out of the oven and asked her friends who were sitting at the table with their tongues hanging out, Who's going to help me eat this delicious lemon sourdough bread? I will, screamed the duck. Quack, 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 quack. I will, screamed the pig. <laughs> I will, I will, screamed the cat. Meow, meow. Oh, no, you won't, screamed the little red hen. You wouldn't help me plant the seeds. You told me no to cutting down the wheat. You wouldn't ride with me to the miller. And you wouldn't even help me make the dough. You wouldn't even help me bake the bread. I'm going to eat this bread all by myself. And that's exactly what she did. Thank you for joining me, friends. I hope you enjoyed the story. And remember, pitch in and help your family, friends, and neighbors. We all love to enjoy good food and have good times. But we all need to be respectful and kind, too. Now, if you will excuse me, I have to get my lemon sourdough bread out of the oven. I have a delivery to make to help out my neighbor who stumbled over that rock and broke her big toe. Bye for now. Eggs and butter, milk and flour and a lemon to make it sour. Eggs and butter, milk and flour and a lemon to make it sour. Eggs and butter, milk and flour and a lemon to make it sour. Eggs and butter, milk 